<laughs> oh my god, the video I have for you guys is, uh, quality garbage. <laughs> What's up, boys? It's Pumpkin, and today we're gonna be talking about this guy that refuses to grow up. I mean, he looks about 45 years old, and he's still wearing a onesie and drinking from a bottle, so... It's like, you look at this content, and so many questions just come up. But, you know, regardless of how we feel, and regardless of the questions we have, we're still gonna watch the video anyway. But, yeah, before we start, make sure you guys leave a like so you can, uh, live forever in youth. Yeah. Infinite youth. So, yeah, you better leave a like, or otherwise you can't live forever. Let's start watching the video. Everybody needs a bottle in the morning, but since babies can't drink coffee, I have my juice. Alright, right off the bat, the video just started and I already have a question. Who the hell took the fence off of somebody's yard in order to make this man a life-sized crib? And let's not forget to mention he really has Moto Moto back there. See, yeah, I know the meme's dead, but I don't care. He likes some big and chunky. Yay, Heady Manny is on. It's my favorite show. Yeah! <laughs> I feel like it's the most eerie thing in the world to me, the fact that he's genuinely laughing at this show as he holds a small handy mandy. Like, forgive me for flaming the guy, but he has the nerve to act like a child, but looks like he smoked a 30-pack every hour. <laughs> like, for the love of God, does he go to work in this stuff? Does he go to work at all? Maybe he just low-key still lives with his mom. I do know one thing, though. There's not one girlfriend out there taking care of him like that. Imagine you want to go out to dinner with your man and he just sh his pants. It's like, nope, we have to wait here until my diaper's changed. <sighs> it makes me uncomfortable. I can't. There's so many many important things in life that he's just gonna miss out on because he's so busy wanting to be a baby. First off, a relationship, that's number one. And if for some odd reason, the forces of God himself gave him a relationship, he's never gonna wanna go out because he's gonna wanna act like a baby 24-7. For all we know, this could all just be one giant act. He could be faking all of this. All I know is whether it's a fake or not, he's still extremely weird for even having all this stuff around. Does he still, like, open the door if somebody knocks? I'm telling you, bro, it's just questions after questions after questions. I'm never gonna run out of them. Jesus. Christ, man. I like coloring because it's just relaxing to color stuff, man, and you don't really have to follow the rules because you can color it whatever you want. People his age are doing things like working and investing in stocks. He colors inside the lines. People his age have bought houses, and he's bought himself a one-way ticket to never having a girlfriend ever again. People his age are getting married. He's getting his diaper changed. If you don't get what I'm trying to say here, he's about 30 to 40 years back. At this point, I'm just convinced there was hope that he needed to get that he just never ended up getting. Someone should have been getting this man therapy, and instead they were just like, ah, no, it's just a phase. It's just a phase at around 35 years old. <laughs> the Wizard of Odd TV, where we record older men pretending to be babies. I find it extremely disturbing the fact that they just watched this man sleep in this one scene. And if they weren't watching him, they were just like, hey, yo, yeah, can you get in your crib and, like, attend to sleep? Be a great cinematic. I'm honestly scared for how personal this video is gonna get. He's gonna be talking about all the nitty-gritty details. Wait, now that I think about it, is he allowed to swear? Another thing, if he can, does he actually try to go to the bathroom? Like, in a bathroom? I'm telling you, man, I just have infinite questions to ask because this is so just odd. It's just like, I feel so mentally disturbed and I don't want to really feel that way. Like, imagine you saw someone in your shower that you didn't know. That's how this video makes me feel. An adult baby is somebody who enjoys dressing up and acting like a baby and it could be as young as you know, you want to be a six month old or you can go up to two or three years old. Now forget about the age. I have a question. Is this like a secret dungeon in your house? Like, do you have to hide this from people that come in? I feel like he just pulls a lever somewhere and there it is, just ready for him. How did his parents feel about this? If he had siblings, how did they feel about it? Like, I just want to know how everyone in his family felt about this. It's whatever that feels right for you. I associate most with being two years old because I think it's the best of both worlds. He's literally talking about the best of both worlds, like you're not getting the same exact benefits as you were as if you were six months old. I get the whole experiencing nostalgia thing, but like, Jesus Christ, did you have to go all the way back to when you were born? Or at least two years after, for that matter. Regardless, it'll never make this situation okay. This will always be not okay in my eyes. And that's just gonna be the thing that I stick by. No one's ever gonna change my mind on that. You're young enough to still be able to use a crib and a bottle and diapers and all that stuff, but you're also still old enough that you can get around on your own and talk and tell people what you want. Ah, refreshing. <gasps> He's about to say his first words. R refreshing. 
It's alright, buddy. I feel like he's cheating this whole mirage of, uh, being a child after he just did that. You don't go around seeing a blatant two-year-old saying the word refreshing. But, I mean, hey, you never know. There could be a baby with, like, absolute brilliance. But we're just gonna safely say that this guy doesn't count, because, you know, he's, like, 37 years old. You want a drink? No, I don't want to drink. You can keep that away from me. I don't know what's been in your mouth. I don't know how far you take this whole baby thing. So no, I do not want to sip. Stay away from me, please. Not very many adult babies get a chance to have AB furniture. And I'm definitely one of the few. I love the way he said that. Like, there's really something to be proud of here. I really feel flexed on right now about some baby furniture. I couldn't tell you why. I just feel flexed on. He was so proud that he was one of the few with adult baby furniture. Adult baby furniture just sounds like stuff you had to get on the dark web. They're like around some dark alleyway with some very shady folk. I don't know. Something, something shady. This is my custom made crib. Took me about a week to build it and a couple days to paint it. It's my favorite piece of adult baby furniture to play with. So you're telling me he made the crib himself, but he has the nerve to still act like a bit. Nah, nah, he cheated. He cheated. The, the facade's over. I don't care what anybody says. He became an adult for like an hour and a half in order to build that crib. He definitely cheated. You can't one minute just buy all the supplies you need. And then another minute sit there and act like an absolute child. Like you can't even buy the supplies. Well, I've got my diaper changing materials nice and close. I've got my puppy dog mobile. I've got my lion guard bed sheets. And I've got my Ocean Wonders Aquarium. This really does feel like MTV Cribs right now. Except it's for babies. Except he's like 30 years old. You know what, now that I think about it, it isn't all that much like MTV Cribs. It's just kind of creepy. Just the thought of a guy sleeping in a crib that was built just for him gives me the chills. And then I got my, my cat here. Keeping my bed warm. Some people will ask, do I... Do I actually use the diapers? And yes, I use the diapers. Okay, first question. Who is asking you that? Because whoever is asking you should probably be arrested. Just the thought of them asking a question to you like that disturbs me to the highest degree. And also, do you change it yourself? Because if you don't, that's disgusting. And again, it's disgusting regardless. I just feel like it doesn't matter what you say. I'm always going to be disturbed by what's going on in this entire video. Uh, being incontinent, you're going to be in diapers. And these are my usual ones. But when I'm role playing, I love wearing my tykables. I don't even know what to say about this other than the fact that he has specific diapers for when he role plays and when he doesn't. <laughs> These are things I didn't even think people thought about, but apparently I was in the wrong. You guys just wait, you're gonna hear me saying Goo Goo Gaga next video. Or am I considered role playing the wrong way for saying that? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't care. Role playing isn't something I plan on doing in the future. This is his legacy, not mine. And I think I'd like to keep it that way. These things are just adorable. The animals, good absorbency, so you're, you stay nice and dry while you're out playing. Well, thank you so much for showing me these diapers like I plan on buying them. You'd be a great person for advertising. That is, if I needed those, which I don't. Like, say I needed a brush, I'm sure he could sell me it. And he could probably sell me a nail clipper if he wanted to. But that, that's a no. When I have to make a number two, it's in the toilet. And no, I don't sit in a wet diaper all day long. Sorry, things are letting up. At least he doesn't sit inside of a used diaper the entire day. That would have been the last straw for me. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that was a frequent thought in my mind if he did that. And the fact that he clarified it actually makes me feel 1% better about this situation. So I'm still highly disturbed. But heck, he fixed it a little bit. But of course, I've got mine on. They literally don't want me to make anything off of this video. Come on, YouTube has been practically searching on reasons to demonetize my videos, which have, by the way, succeeded. And this cameraman just had to take the bright idea of panning it to- Oh my god. Okay. I took away 1%. The 1% is now back exactly where it was before. You almost redeemed yourself, man. I'm telling you, you almost had it. And you went around and pulled that one. Nice. Some of my favorite adult baby activities would be, uh playing with my my uh, duplo legos it's relaxing to play with with the legos i can forget about what's going on dude i swear this guy has got the entire act down from toys to cribs to all of it this guy really is committed to becoming an actual two-year-old and you can't even pull the acting like a baby insult on him because that's exactly what he is he's a literal adult baby and pretend i'm a kid again and have fun you can build anything you're you can imagine and Hey, hey, hey! Watch where you're pointing it. You're gonna slaughter me. Jesus. He was really pointing that thing around like he didn't have something in it. He was gonna mess around and make me disintegrate. Jesus Christ. I was just trying to react to this. I didn't think I'd have to duck and cover today. 
If you don't like it anymore, you can take it apart and build something else. It's a spacecraft. It could take off. Ground control. Ground control to Major Tom. Can you explain to me why our spaceship is shaped like a gun? No, sir, I can't. All right, well, uh, somebody call Elon Musk. We need a remodel. Because this whole situation is just not okay. Hey, yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here. He ended off the video on a very positive message, and he explained the whole reason why he even did the whole thing in the first place. And there's a big reason. I just can't say it here. But uh, hey, uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and go comment something down below so I can go hard in. Also, be sure to go follow my Instagram and my Twitter. I post on my Instagram more, but Twitter's still there so go follow it anyway you guys have a great day peace peace